I was pet sitting in my friend Randy's house and he had this magazine that listed the most legendary guitar players of all time. And leaving through it, I discovered I was in there at number 22. I was surprised. I didn't even know that I played guitar. Now, don't get me wrong. Every day on Twitch, I stream a video game called Guitar God at Randy's house for thousands of viewers. And I'm very good at Guitar God. But what I didn't know was that the six string controller plugged into the game was an actual guitar. So I called up Randy pretty upset and demanded to know why he didn't tell me that I was a guitar virtuoso. He said, you're so free when you play. I didn't want to mess up a good thing by letting you know it was real. See, it turned out Randy had been recording my guitar solos when I played the game and giving the tracks away to musicians to use in their songs. It turns out I'd guested on dozens of albums. The magazine article also praised my habit of giving away my solos for free, reminding collaborators and fans why we all fell in love with music in the first place. And that's great and everything. But I was nearly broke at the time, so I didn't take well the news that I could have been earning a living all this time. I began charging big money for my guitar solos, and there were takers, but weirdly at that point, I kind of froze up. I put pressure on myself to play well, and all the guitar solos got really stiff and mechanical, and the offers dried up. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go back to my roots, and I'm going to pick up a brand new instrument. What I thought was a saxophone, but it turned out I was just blowing air into a hollowed out Xbox controller. <laughs>